Hi everyone, I am Aromal. Welcome to our physics class. Today we are discussing about the topic electric generator from the chapter Magnetic Effects of Electric Current of Class 10. We know there are different forms of energy. We are using different kinds of energy in our day to day life. But you know one thing, we are very much obsessed with this electrical energy. What makes this energy this much peculiar? Why we are so much obsessed with this energy? There is the answer. This electrical energy has certain advantages over all other forms of energy. Do you know what are they? This electrical energy can be produced very easily without much cost. And also it can be transferred from one place to another with low cost. And also the loss of energy as the form of heat is also less in this kind of transmission of energy. And also the main and the most important thing is that this electrical energy can be converted to other forms of energy. For example, if you are giving this electrical energy to a fan, it can be converted to mechanical energy. Whereas if you are giving this energy to an electrical bulb, it will convert it to electrical energy means convert it to the light energy. So we can convert the electrical energy to desired forms of energy. So in all these ways, electrical energy has certain advantages or peculiarities over other forms of energies. Then you might have wondered about how this electrical energy is developed, how it is generated and how it is transferred. All these questions have answer in this chapter. So you could have heard about this electric generators and also you might have seen the miniature form of these generators or dynamos in your toys. So let's see what is an electric generator. Electric generators are devices which is used to produce electrical energy commercially. And you know, in our small state like Kerala, we are having more than 30 power stations, including hydroelectric thermal power plants. And also, you know, we don't have any nuclear power plants. Whatever be the nature of the power plant, whether it is hydroelectric or thermal or nuclear, the fundamental functioning or working is same. The main component of all these power stations are electric generators. You know, what are the components of these electric generators? An electric generator consists of a rotating part is called a rotor and a static system or a system which is at rest that is called a stator. Here we are depicting a demo of this electric generator. Here you can see there are two magnetic poles north and south and in between these two pole pieces we are having an armature coil ABCD which is capable of rotating in an axis and also it consists of two complete rings called slip rings, these circular rings and there are two brushes also there. So these are the basic structure of an electric generator. Now let us see how it works. This electric generators can convert mechanical energy to electrical energy. So you have seen dams, we are constructed dams for storing water. As we are storing this water, its potential energy increases. We are flowing this water to this power stations using penstock pipes. And when this water is fastly flows through these turbines, they are rotating. So this mechanical energy, which causes the rotation of this armature coil ABCD. And you have learned about electromagnetic induction. According to Faraday, you have seen that whenever the magnetic flux linked with a coil changes, an EMF is induced. And as part of this EMF, a current is also developed. That EMF is called induced EMF and the current is called a induced current. So using the same principle, this electric generator produces electrical energy. Whenever this turbine rotates, this armature coil is also rotating in between these two pole pieces. And due to electromagnetic induction, EMI, electromagnetic induction, EMF is induced. That EMF or current can be taken to the outer circuit using these rings and brushes apparatus. These rings are provided there to maintain the continuity of this current to this external circuit. So when we are depicting or plotting the variation of voltage or current of this electric generator, we are getting a graph like this. So this voltage or current has this alternating nature. 
their magnitude and direction is changing so we can produce alternating current using this electric generators.